everyone. I'm Connie, founder and CEO of Astro de Mew, a cult contemporary jewelry brand. I'm super excited today to be taking over the Sheer Lux vlog to show you my typical day and also tell you more about what matters to me. So I hope you enjoy. It's six o'clock in the morning and I'm down to make my first coffee. It's the calm before the storm. I think this coffee machine is the best purchase I've made. Right after we went into lockdown, I stopped piled up on oat milk and Monmouth coffee. That's my lifeline. I'm going to take my coffee to my reading area and catch up on some reading. So here on the table, I've got the FT from the morning and Sunday Times Magazine and FT Weekend from the weekend. Ironically, I don't have any time during the weekend. Um, I'm actually busier during the weekend because of the kids, so I need to catch up on my week weekend reading during the week. It's seven o'clock in the morning and I'm going for a walk with my second cup of coffee. Apologies for the sleepy voice earlier. I normally am not a normal human being until I have my first cup of coffee. Normally when I go for a walk, I, listen, I like to listen to podcasts. It lasts me about 20 minutes to an hour and it's a really good way to kind of tune in for the day. Some of my favorite podcasts are How I Built This, which is about entrepreneurs um, based in the US. I also love Sherlock's podcast, Astro to Me You, and I love Unedited, and also Entrepreneurs by Monocle. It's 10 o'clock and I finished my first batch of morning meetings. Now I'm going to freshen myself up and I'm going to show you some of my beauty products. So I'm a pretty loyal beauty customer. So when I find something that I like, I tend to keep on buying them. So some of my favorites are um, Summer Fridays, Jet Lag Mask. So I think this is my fifth tube and Glossier Moisturizer. I think this is about my fifth or sixth tube as well. And I love this highlighter from Glossier. And I really like this cleansing water. I've been using this for, I think over 20 years, I think. Removing makeup is so much more important than putting makeup on to keep the skin healthy and clear. So I'm already wearing a base makeup. So I'm wearing this SPF um, tinted moisturizer. It was recommended by my dermatologist, which I love because it has this really light texture. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. And I'm already wearing eye makeup. So I'm wearing this um, Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner from Ico. And I'm also wearing eyeshadow from Chanel. It's a palette that has different shades of brown, which I love. And then I'm going to put some highlighter and bronzer on my cheeks. So I'm going to use this bronzer from Glossier. I'm going to put it across my cheeks. And then I'm going to use this highlighter right under my eyes around the eyes to give that glow. And then I sometimes put it under my chin and on my nose to kind of accentuate the bridge of the nose. And then I blend them all in and it gives a really subtle glow. And then I'm going to put some lip color on. I'm going to use this Cow Shed Natural Lip Balm that I got when I went to Soho Farmhouse. I love this. It's made with all natural ingredients. And then I'm going to use this nude lipstick. I love this color. It was a Selfridges exclusive. It's called Fleur de Coral from MAC. It's a really light shade, so to make it a bit more pink, I'm going to use this Ciate lipstick. The color, I think it's a bit of a corally color. It's called Wanderlust. It's really natural, and it's very similar to my natural lip color, but it smooths the color out. So I just put this as a tint in the middle, and then I get this healthy glow on my lips. So that's the end of my makeup routine. Aside from makeup, I think having the right kind of jewelry, especially ear stuck, is so important to defining your face. I typically like to wear really tiny huggies or stud earrings, but I swapped them up two weeks ago into chunkier pieces because we just launched these for summer drops. 
So the chunky hoop is part of our vintage collection, which I love. You can wear them with anything. And then in the middle, I've got little hoop earrings with rope details. I don't know whether you can see them. And then I've got um, these irregular Baroque pearl hoop earrings with rope details. And then I've, I've got a little stud barbell here. And this is um, really popular with our customers. It's a triangular kind of piercing. And I love this placement here because it just gives that extra sparkle that's unexpected. One of my daughter Summer's favorite activities is to make smoothies and then make ice lollies. Hey Summer, say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> She's wearing a raincoat. She calls it the coronavirus outfit. Are you wearing your coronavirus outfit? Yeah. To go to the playground? Yeah. Okay, so we've got here peeled bananas and some frozen blueberries and I've already put some oat milk in here. Summer, can we mix some blueberries in there? You can't eat them all. You need to put most of them in, please. Thank you. Good girl. But they're not enough for me. Okay, you can have some more later separately. And can you put some bananas in, please? Okay. Good. Good, well done. Now you can press the button. Press the middle button. This one, here. Here, Summer. That one. Yay! Okay, time to stop it now. Once the lolly mold is filled, you can drink the remaining smoothie and enjoy. Summer, cheers. Smoothie time. Gonna do no. Drink your own smoothie. I'm in my bedroom about to get dressed. One of the things I really focused on during the lockdown is really Marie Kondo. All of my wardrobe space and all of my cupboards, so I got rid of loads of things. And one thing I did was I bought this little rag to plan the outfit for the week because I always felt like there was so much clutter in my closet. I didn't know where things were and. Uh, I kept on wearing the same stuff and thinking that there's not enough clothes, although I had so many. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. So this is my outfit plan for the week. I know that the weather will be a bit warmer, so I tried to bring sunny colors out. I actually ended up opting in for this white dress from Kin because I just couldn't wait to try them on. They're so flattering, flowy, and you've got this sheer bit um, in the middle, so makes it super sexy as well. There's a slit here, which is not too revealing. It's quite subtle and, and it's just a really nice and light feeling. I decided to style my jewelry slightly differently. Um, so I'm layering my necklaces. I love this pendant necklace, which is part of our new collection from the summer collection. It kind of has this stamped look and it's a shell motif. And this is one of our chunky um, necklaces that I wear all the time. I'm obsessed with this. And I've um, swapped up my ear stack a little bit. So I've moved the Baroque pearl hoops to this, um, the first piercing. And I kept my barbell in here. And then I kept my rope hoop in there. But then I replaced the third piercing with um, my shell hoops, which is also part of our summer collection. It's really nice and summery. And I thought it goes really well with this white flowy dress. And I'm also wearing a bracelet. Um, it's actually our T-bar necklace, which is a bit tighter around the neck and I've wrapped it around to make it a double bracelet and it kind of has this Hermes feel to it. And this is a permanent bracelet, which used to be available in our welding studio, which will be available soon. So stay tuned. So that's my jewelry styling. I wanted to show you briefly how I organize my jewelry. So I keep them all in this uh, vintage drawer, which I love. So this is one of the jewelry drawers and I keep them in these inserts, which are from Muji and they're really, really handy. So I try to divide them by category. So here you have all the rings and ear cuffs and here it's mostly the latest collections. So a lot of them from our vintage and summer collections and I love these ones. They remind me of my mom's um, 
buttons from her jackets. I'm obsessed. And I've got a couple of masks that I wear when I go to the supermarket or when I go to the hair salon. And I got them all from Etsy. Oh, and I wanted to point out that my bedroom walls are in Astrid and Mew pink. And in fact, all my bedrooms in the house and my husband's study has been painted in Astrid and Mew pink. He was about to kill me when I did this, but I think now he's embracing it and he loves it too. I'm now in my office going through my calendar. Um, I've got a couple of shortlist interviews for the Black Owned Business Accelerator program that we launched. Um, I've met so many incredible businesses through this and I'm going to be shortlisting down to six finalists for me and my team to mentor. And then I've got a couple of one-on-one -on -one with my team and then an investor meeting. And I'm actually going to King's Road store today to check on how we're set up for piercing because we're launching our piercing services this Saturday, which is so exciting. Um, and then I'm getting my hair done finally. I can't wait to get my hair done. I'm so desperate for this. I think I'm going to get a balayage to um, kind of highlight my hair and make it a bit light and summery. This whole lockdown has been such a strange and stressful experience. However, I think there's a lot of positives that came out of it. For me personally, one of them is I've become so much more conscious of how I run the business and how I lead my team and also how I behave as a consumer. So in, back in April, I launched a mentorship program to support small businesses because I know that it's a really lonely journey to start a business on your own, especially during time of crisis. And then I also now launched a black owned um, business mentorship program. So I'm going to show you some of the products um, and brands from my mentees and some of the small businesses that I discovered along the way, aside from the mentorship program. This is a seashell bowl slash decorative object from a brand called Sen and Day. And the founder, Kim, is someone that I mentor, and it's been so rewarding. She's actually a, um, I guess, content, content producer at Harrods, so she's got really good visual taste, and I love everything that she does. She has a shop on Etsy called Sun and Day, and this is super affordable at £35. And I put this in my dining area just for general decoration. Um, next to all the vases that I have and the, this pampas grass. She also sells a lot of amazing, gorgeous dried flowers and this is from her as well. When I was Marie kondo in my closet, one promise I made to myself was not to make any fast fashion purchases, but to be a bit more conscious and buy from sustainable fashion brands if I had to make any purchases. So I discovered this brand called Ananome. So she's on Instagram and takes some um, commission work. So she makes scrunchies and face masks from used dust bags, designer dust bags. So the Scoochie scrunchie I purchased from for thirty pounds. It takes about a week for her to make them. Um, so if you just message her or DM her on her Instagram account, she'll do that for you. And there's loads of designs to choose from. It's a pretty jam packed day, so I'm going to opt in for some quick meal. So this is a ready-made soup I just need to heat up from Dalesford. I'm obsessed with this. I think I have a pack every week. And then some bagels from Cohen's Bakery, which I buy from Ocado every week. Today, we're playing with some organic Play-Dohs from Organized Chaos. These are amazing. We've got some sparkly pink Play-Doh and sparkly mint Play-Doh. And what else have you got? Do you have and branches? Me. Yes. And what are you making? I'm making a garden for the for the butterfly, and and I'm putting flowers in it and stitch. Oh, that's and very leaves. nice. Very nice. I think it gets her focus for about ten minutes, which is amazing. I'm here to visit my store on Kings Road. Look at these confetti for positive vibes. I'm here to see the team. Hi Jenny! Hi. At the entrance we have this hand sanitizer for everyone to be able to use and these are all the hygiene measures that we're taking and as you can see our team are wearing protective gear. Hi, this is Jenny and we've got plant dividers to make sure that people are moving in one direction and there's a no touch policy unfortunately. 
our beautiful studio. And now that we're allowed to pierce again, we're getting ready to pierce in the studios from Saturday. And we just launched our booking on Wednesday. And within a couple of hours, we're fully booked for the next week. Look at our gorgeous new summer collection. They look so nice displayed and I love these squidgy ears in coral. I'm here to get my hair done. I'm wearing a mask so it's hard to talk right now, but I'll show you when it's all done. It took me about five hours to get my hair done, but I'm loving it. I'm finally back home. So that's a wrap for the day. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and cheers.